Hello everyone, Caduce here, co-founder of Informel, making this quick video on how to scrape unlimited leads. I know a lot of people have been asking me, I don't know where to get my lead list from. You know, I have this cold email set up, but I, you know, I'm running out of leads. I only have 2,000 or 3,000 people in my list. You know, it's hard to find them. They're too expensive. So I want to show you exactly the options there are out there. Not all of them, but the ones that I know of that are really good depending on your niche. I used to have the same problem for a really long time as well when I first started and when I was doing the agency stuff after I got Iman's course and after I got, you know, courses and watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I had my cold email set up. And I just could not find leads for the life of me. It was super, super difficult. I didn't know where to scrape them. I didn't know how to do them. It was kind of boring. It was also too technical sometimes at times. So I kind of want to just break it down. So we're going to discuss the scraping tools. We're going to discuss verified leads. So the scraping tools are what you use to get raw leads, data that has not been filtered out or cleaned, meaning that a lot of your emails will bounce. So if you're going to scrape you know, emails with, the, with one, you know, any of these tools, then you're going to need to actually put it through a verifier of some sort. There's also verified leads, which is leads that you don't have to verify at all. You just pay extra money for them, but they're really, really good and already verified. And this is lead verifiers. So these are a list of places uh, that you can actually visit. So once you scrape the leads, the ones that I said that are raw, that are not very clean, you can use softwares that help you verify your leads, uh, like email list verify co, never bounce your events. I'm sure you've heard of them. We're going to kind of discuss these topics on a high level overview. And I also wrote a blog if you actually want to see. I put it in informel.io's blog section. You could you know check it out. I'll leave a link in the description as well and we'll get straight into the video. So the first step before you actually choose on where you should get leads is you have to know who you're gonna target. So if you're targeting a specific type of person or ICP, ideal customer persona, then you're gonna want to you know, pick the right tool or the right software. So for example, if you're gonna go after SaaS companies, Crunchbase has an amazing database of SaaS companies and venture capital firms and things like that that you can outreach that is very, very important to you if you're gonna do SaaS, for example. If you're gonna do local leads and you wanna cold email local leads in general you know that you can find on Google Maps, Outscraper is also another amazing tool. In general, what kind of leads you want, who you wanna to outreach to, and you have to choose the software based off of that because not every software is gonna work. So this right here is kind of the hard way of doing it as well because sometimes you're not gonna get verified leads. Ocean.io is actually an exception. I believe they do have verified leads so with Ocean.io, it actually does both. You can get verified email credits and you can get export credits. So with export credits, from my understanding, you have to still verify the leads. With verified ones, you don't, okay? So these ones are a bit harder to use because when you export leads, you still have to put it through a verifier. And if you're gonna scrape you know, a database like LinkedIn, you have to use LinkedIn Sales Nav and you know, filter out the exact ideal customer persona that you should want, and then you scrape them with one of these tools. For example, IGLeads.io is a good one. You know, it allows you to scrape Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all these different, different ones. I recommend for beginners to use verified leads, already verified leads, and they're a little bit more pricey, a little bit more expensive, but the data is really, really good. Just think of it this way, the higher you pay for your data, the better it's gonna to be to reach them because they, they're not really outreached. You know, Because if data is cheap and it's very easy and accessible for everybody, then those people are gonna get hit with a bunch of emails. If you pay a lot more money, or I, I mean, I should say a little bit more money, the, the higher you pay, the more money that you pay, the better the leads are gonna be because they've never really been spoken to or offered anything. So Instantly Lead Finder is a really, really good tool. I do recommend using them. Granted, they do have a lot of users on their platform, which can make the data a bit saturated, but it's also really good. You know, 10,000 verified leads for 197 bucks a month. And then also Find Email and ListKit are also some honorable mentions. Again, I haven't used all of these tools, but I do know based on community and the kind of users that we have, you know, the, the actual lead scraping tools to use. ListKit.io is a really good one as well. Those are the boys over at Client Ascension. It's a fairly new tool, but I do hear a lot of good things. If you decide to scrape tools from if you decide to scrape leads from Apollo or D7 Lead Finder or Tweet Scraper, for example, you're going to want to use a lead verifier. And a lead verifier is a place where you can take raw data and input all of the emails that you have, and it's going to give you valid email addresses. So I'm going to show you quickly what that looks like. So if we jump over here to emaillistverify.com, these are the files that I've imported of all these different you know emails that I've scraped. This is actually using Tweet Scraper, but you can see right here on the right side, there's you know all of the valid emails. So it gives you the total emails. The valid ones are the only ones I recommend emailing to, so you can have a really good rate of hitting the inbox and you don't have any bounces. So these are 792 invalid, accept all, et cetera, et cetera. And so we just don't want any of the other ones. Very, very easy to use. You just choose a file, you know, basically pick the data that you want, and then you're just going to download the list and it's going to process, it's gonna take some time. And then all of a sudden you have, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60% of that list that is there for you. 40% of it is gone, it's been cleaned and it's been purged. So your emails won't get hurt. Your deliverability will stay really, really good. Ever bounce and zero bounce are also really good to verify as, as well. They're just a little bit more expensive. And basically, after you scrape the leads that you want, very, very easy. I'm gonna actually give you an example, a quick example of Tweet Scraper as well. So we're over here at Tweet Scraper. I'm gonna actually show you one that I just did. So Alec, I did Alex Ramosi, it's 4.22% uh, progress right now. So it found 100 uh, or 1,117 users and 176 emails, which is really good, which, which is really good. So you can scrape followers here, and you're just gonna put in the username. So I just put in Alex Ramosi, and then I put in a bunch of keywords here of the bios of the people that I would wanna outreach to, what their Twitter profile would look like, right? So if someone is a realtor and I'm looking for consultants, if someone has a realtor in their bio, I wanna filter that out. So I'll just put, you know, filter, and I'll put, you know, only, consultants 
So right here, I'm gonna put, for example, consultants, cold email, email, marketing, business, whatever it may be, right? This is just an example. You're gonna click show some advanced options. You can choose the amount of followers you want the person to have, the keywords to avoid, all that stuff, and then you're gonna hit great followers, and then you're gonna end up with something like this, voila. So with this right here, you can see even JK Molina's one of, someone on Money Twitter, 22,000 users found, 2,600 scraped, so really, really good. And this is just data that's been untouched, is what I really, really like about TweetScript, where not so many people you know, email the people that are on Twitter. Also, another quick one I'll show you is Instantly Lead Finder. That's a really, really good one. So I'm gonna go over to Instantly real quick. I'm gonna log in here. And you know, with all of it together, with Lead Finder and also Instantly Subscription, it's cost, it's like 197 plus 97. It comes out to almost 300 bucks a month. So right here, already verified leads. If I wanna you know, just filter it based on whatever I want, it's just really amazing for that. So if I wanna pick, let's say, software industry, and I'm gonna do, you know, I don't know, information technology, okay? And I wanna only pick companies that are doing you know, 500 to a billion dollars. Okay, we already have 546,000 results and we're looking for 25 to 100 employees, for example, right? Or you know what, we can even do, we can even do 100 to 250 employees, look at that, more results. And, and once you're done with this and you pick the exact person you wanna outreach to, et cetera, then you're just gonna add them to the campaign. So you just click this. And obviously you don't want nine results, so I'm gonna take this off real quick and you get 3,500, decent. You just click this top part right here and then you're gonna click the first 1,000 results, you know, take that to the campaign add that to the campaign, and then you're good to go. So that's just an example of using Instantly Lead Finder. So we kind of went over picking your niche. You gotta make sure you kind of you know, know what niche you're gonna choose and exactly what kind of leads you want verified versus just scraping them and putting them to a verifier. So whichever one you choose, you know, like I said, verified leads are gonna be more expensive. You're gonna use a scraping tool. Remember to use the verified, you know, verified leads companies. You know, never bounce, zero bounce, email is verify. And then you're gonna wanna figure out your ICP. Are you looking for CMOs, CEOs, boutique agencies, coaches, et cetera? You can find all those people depending on you know where they are. For example, if you're looking for agency owners and you scrape Iman's followers, you might find a good bit of agency owners in there. That's just an idea. And then here example of how to scrape from TweetScraper and example of how to use Instant Lead Finder. So I got all those covered in this video. So I hope this you know helped a little bit for all those people that you know it's hard for them to find leads. And yeah, peace out.